Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. So last weekend, my parents decided to come over to my house and help me clean it. Because if you saw my I Heart Spring Tag video, you would know that I am not the cleanest or organized person in the world. I admit it. I kind of blame it on my ADHD. But <laughs> anyways, so when my parents came over to my house, my dad's like, wow. I have never seen anyone live like this. And when my mom saw it, she's like, oh my God, you live like an animal. And that made me think, oh really? So is she implying that I live like a pig? And if so, does that mean I'm like the guys that I date? Ah, uh, that's not good, is it? So when my mom went into my bathroom to help me clean it, she looked under the cabinet under the sink and saw my bag of empties and she was like what are those why don't you get rid of them and that's when i decided i think it's time to do an empties video so i pretty much started my like empties collection when i started this channel which was about six months ago so it's not gonna be a lot of products i know some girls go through deodorant, like a stick per two months. I, for some reason, I guess I'm messy and unhygienic and I just, my beauty products last a long time as you will see. So it might not be that much and it might not be that exciting. So let's get started. So the first things I have are these body washes from Suave. Yes, they are super cheap. They're probably a dollar fifty ish each um, I don't believe in spending a lot of money for body wash I actually used to work at a cosmetic manufacturing company and I also have a science background so I kind of know what soap is about I think that more expensive body washes you're basically paying for the fragrance and for me I just feel like any fragrance is gonna smell better than my natural body odor, so I don't really pay that much for fragrance. So I have two, these lasted me two years. I will use this, the Wild Cherry Blossom, during spring and summer. And I use the Cocoa Butter during fall and winter. Because I alternated these between seasons, it took me two years to finish, but if I didn't, it would take me about one year to finish this bottle. Am I using two less? Let me know. I don't know. The next thing I have is this Target brand Up and Up multi-purpose contact lens solution, no rub formula. This is like the cheapest thing that you can find in the contact lens solution aisle. I bought the cheapest one because I thought there was no difference between this and the higher name brand ones. But I think there's a reason why this is cheap because I've gotten into the habit of wearing different colored eyeliners on my waterline and the really dark colors like black and brown when I try to take my contacts out the eyeliner smears all over it and this stuff it takes a lot of it to take that to take all that pigment out and that just makes me think no rub formula yeah right you have to rub it like crazy <laughs> The next thing I have is this Dove deodorant. This has lasted me two years. I really like the Dove brand for deodorant because when you put it on, you don't get that white stuff on your shirts. I wear a lot of dark colors. And it doesn't make you feel sticky when you start sweating and stuff. If you know what I'm talking about, some deodorants make me feel like that. And the version I have is the fresh version. I only picked this because it was purple. At the time, my favorite color was purple when I bought it. The next thing I have is this is the Clinique Quick Liner for eyes in black brown. I showed this in my What's in My Makeup Bag video and I pretty much used up all of it. I really like this eyeliner. I have another one and it, I like it because it goes on smoothly and it doesn't smudge as much as my other eyeliners and I also like how the color is black brown because then it's not so harsh as black, but it's not so neutral like a regular brown. It's in between, it's pretty cool. Um, and the next thing I have is this Model Co Fiber Lash Extend Mascara. 
that I got my birch box a few months back. Yeah. It did extend my lashes and it was pretty cool. It didn't smudge as much because I have problems with mascara smudging. I liked it, um, but it reminded me a lot of the Maybelline Falsies. But this Modico one retails for, I think, $15 or $16 in the Birch Box shop, and it's kind of expensive, so I think I'd rather just stick to my Falsies mascara. I'm assuming you're probably paying a lot more for the mirrored packaging. What do you think? The next thing I have is this Marc Jacobs lip gloss. And I emptied the whole thing out so you can't see the color anymore, but it was a frosty, shimmery, light pink color. I think blush was a makeup line that Marc Jacobs had at one point. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued now because I can't seem to find it anywhere and nobody on YouTube really talks about it. It was a little too frosty for me, but it was cool. It wasn't sticky or anything. The next thing I have is this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I mentioned this in my skincare routine video. This is a really good moisturizer, especially in winter time when my skin gets really dry. This is perfect for dry skin. The next thing I have is this sample packet that I got from Birchbox, and it's the Kerastase Nectar Thermique. And it's really awesome. Oh my god, I love this product so much. It really just makes your hair so smooth. Like you just put it on dry hair and it's basically like lotion for your hair. And I thought it was so awesome, made my hair so soft. And then after I ran out of it, I decided to use like regular um, hair conditioner. And then I realized, whoa, conditioner is also like lotion for your hair. <laughs> this is basically just a leave-in conditioner. So if you w use regular conditioner, just stick with that because it does the same thing. But I feel like this one does make your hair a little bit softer and it also has a heat protector. Other foil packets I have are this Orive or Orive or shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair. I got these in my recent Birch box and I don't know if I notice a difference. I've tried many types of shampoos and conditioners for color treated hair because every time I wash my hair, my color fades really fast. And I realized that it doesn't really matter what shampoo or conditioner I use, it will just fade with every wash. Most likely because you're supposed to wash color treated hair in cool or warm water. But I love my hot showers, okay? So I always wash my hair in hot water and hot water I think opens like the cuticles or the pores in your hair and like the color just leaks out of your hair. And also since my natural hair color is jet black and I'm trying to lighten it on the very opposite end of the hair color spectrum, that also doesn't help because it's very hard for my dark hair color to hold in the color. So I'm still looking around for a shampoo and conditioner but once I find something, I'll probably make a hair care video, but for now, let's move on to our empties. And the next thing I have is a Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume sample that I got in my Birch Box. My sister loves this perfume. I know several other YouTubers have like got on and on about how this is so awesome. I thought it was okay. It smells a little too flowery. I just used it up just because I want to save all the other ones that I had that I actually liked, and this one I liked the least, so I tried to use it up and I actually used it. Okay, and the next thing I have is this Clinique makeup remover. This is an oil-based makeup remover, so it helps remove waterproof makeup. I'm actually using the other version, the eye makeup solvent right now, um, which comes in the blue bottle. And I actually like this one more. Um, I actually just prefer oil-based makeup removers in general because it just takes things off a lot quicker. And I could probably go through the chemistry behind why it's better, but I'm not gonna do that. And the last products that I have um, relating to teeth, I have some floss. I don't know how interestingly this is, but my favorite is the Johnson Johnson Reach brand. It's the mint wax, because I love anything mint. And the last thing I have is this Luberderm Skin Nourishing Moisturizing Lotion in Premium Oat Extract. I actually 
did not like this. It's not that moisturizing and the oat extract fragrance or whatever they put in here doesn't smell that nice. So I'm using some other lotions that you'll probably see in future empties videos, but I don't recommend this. Okay, so that's it of my empties video. I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm going to throw all my empties containers in the trash so I can keep my house neat and organized. And since my dining table is also clean right now, I think I'm going to go eat some fries right now. What do you think? Well, I'm going to eat them anyway. I don't know what you think. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in my next video, and I will see you later. Bye!